Wow, you guys. I know I say this every time I turn the camera on. Long time no video. Oh my goodness. One day I'm going to get my stuff together. All right, today we are making a cute peacock. I just love peacocks. I actually received some um, new ribbon in the mail that had um, peacocks all over it. And um, it inspired me to create this Valentine's Day peacock hair clip. And that's what we're going to do today. Very simple tutorial and it's just so much fun. You do not have to use um, Valentine's Day colors. You can make your peacock any color you want to. The blue and greens. Whatever you want to do. But this is the little guy that we're going to be making today. Okay, I am working with a few of my favorite supplies and a couple of my not so favorite supplies. All right, we've got ribbon and I'm using three different patterns, three different colors of 3 8 inch ribbon. And I'm using colors in shocking pink, red, and hot pink. You do not have to use um, the Valentine's Day colors. You can make your uh, peacock um, with any colors that you want to. But I want to make mine Valentine's-ish. All right, I'm also going to be using my scissors, of course. I'm using tool because I love it. And the not so favorite, needle and thread. And I promise it's going to be painless as usual. I know I say this all the time, but if there was too much effort, then I wouldn't be doing it. I promise, painless, trust me. Okay, now I've already cut our strips that we're gonna need for the loops. These are going to be the, um, the loops right back here. We're gonna need 18 strips of your 3 8 inch ribbon. You're gonna need six strips, six strips of each. So I'm using um, the biggest length is three inches. And then I've got two and a half inches and then two inches. So you'll need six two inch pieces, six two and a half inch pieces, and six three inch pieces. Okay, now you know what time it is. It is time to thread the needle. I'm using an a, um, embroidery needle and I'm also using some upholstery thread because that's my favorite kind, as you guys know. And we're just going to start um, putting our loops together with the needle and thread. Okay, now we're gonna start assembling our loops and this is very simple. You're gonna take the smaller piece of your ribbon, that two inch piece, and we're just going to fold it where the ends meet and you've got a loop. Now you're gonna take the next size up and you're gonna fold it around. You're gonna bring it up and you're gonna be sure to hold the edges good and tight. And then you're just gonna take that last piece and wrap it around just like this. And there's your loops. They're all three together. Now we're just going to start adding them to our needle and thread. And as you can see, I've already got um, some of my loops on the needle. You just want to go right here near the top and push your needle through all three of your um, pieces of ribbon. And there we go and you'll continue doing that until you're done and then we'll pull it down here on our thread okay now all of the loops are on your needle now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull each one down on the thread you can just take one and come down don't worry about them going anywhere because they're not and we will fix them as soon as they are all on the thread. So just pull those babies down. And this is what they look like once they are off of your needle. And they're all in a row here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the end of the thread and we're just going to pull tight on that thread. You want to cinch your loops together like this just 
just like that. And we're going to take that needle and thread. You can tug on it just a little bit so you have enough um, thread. Then you're going to come in one end and we're going to just take that needle and we're going to go to the opposite end and we're just going to try to work these together. We want to hold them together. See, just pull. And do that a couple of times. Just want to go in one end. Well, if I can get a piece, there we go. And then come back just right here at the top. Just to cinch everything together and pull tight. All right, and see, now they're all fanned out. But that's not the last step we're going to do to make sure they stay together. All right, you can go ahead and tie your ribbon off and then cut the needle. Okay, now to make it even more secure, we don't want anything falling apart. I've got a small strip of ribbon, the same width, and I'm going to glue on one side, just like this. And then we're going to come around and glue on the opposite side. So it kind of sandwiches that um, the loops together. So just glue on the end loops here and then sandwich this around. Okay, you see what I did right here? We just sandwiched that piece of ribbon around the loops. Now Okay, the next part of the tutorial, we will be making the body portion of our peacock. This part right here. All right, and you will need three pieces of your ribbon. I'm using two pieces of three inch, and then I've got a piece of four inch. Okay, for this part, we're going to need three circles out of each one of these pieces of ribbon. So just take your glue gun and form three circles. The two smaller ones will need to be around the exact same size. And then the larger one is going to go in the middle. All right, so there's our circles for the body and we're going to just put them together like I did here on this little guy. All right, so the um, larger one is going to go in the middle. So we're going to attach the smaller ones on each side of that um, large one. And how you're gonna do that is you're just going to add a little bit of glue on the inside of this large circle and you're gonna put the edges of your smaller circles right there on the edge so they come out like this and I'm going to um, place the glue right here where I cut that's where that's going to be um, on the bottom so you don't see it all right so you want it your body to look just like this so go ahead and glue all of those pieces together okay see it gives it a 3d look all right but here is the body now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of ribbon, about a three inch piece in another color. I'm using pink. And I'm going to come to the bottom of my body here and I'm going to add just a little bit of glue. Just a dab of do. A dab of do, yeah. All right. And now I'm going to take this piece of ribbon and we're going to glue it right there on the bottom and we're going to come up. And you're not going to glue it right here at the top, but go right here in the middle and just add just a touch of glue. All right, and we're going to leave that, that hanging because that's where our eye is going to go. And we're going to put a little beak over here. All right, but your body is now complete. We've got our fun feathers. We've got our body, and we're going to put everything together. 
Okay, let's go ahead and finish the headpiece off. All right, you're gonna come up here to the top of your ribbon, and we're just going to fold, kind of like you would if you were turning the page of a book and saving your place. And they call those rabbit ears, I believe. Anyways, fold it like that, and don't worry about all of this, and just add just a touch of glue, and press down, just like that at the top. Okay, this is what it will look like after you add the glue. Now I'm just going to get a small piece of orange, and we're going to put a little um, orange. Okay, and here's what it will look like once you've glued it down and um, folded that corner at the top. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of orange, and we're going to make just a little orange beak. It's not going to be very big at all. Okay, now he's got a little beak and you'll just need to put your little eyeball up there at the top. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and assemble everything together. Okay, I am using a alligator clip, the pinch clip, and what you wanna do is we are going to put our feathers on first, and they're gonna to go towards the back where you open the clip right here. All right, so you're gonna put your glue right here. And we're just going to press down and just hold it there for a few seconds until it's good and stable. All right, and see I left off the front of the clip because that is where your body's gonna go. And you wanna add your glue to the bottom, or you can put it right here. And right up against your feathers is where the body will sit. Don't worry about all your pesky glue. So we'll deal with that. We'll deal with you, all right. All right, now those two pieces are assembled, and I told you we were working with tool, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the tool, and it's gonna go right here behind the feathers. And for the tool piece, I just folded um, about three times around my fingers. I'm gonna cinch it in the middle, and you'll secure this with a little bit of thread, and um, then we'll clip the ends and have a good little puffy tool to work with. And here is the tool after I've secured it in the middle. It looks like a bow. And you're just going to come inside your loops and trim it. Just give it a trim. Do the exact same thing to the opposite side. And now we have a tool puff. And you can trim this up where it's good and um, even too. All right, I think I'm gonna trim a little, get a little trimsy. Okay, and I just cinched it together. I'm not even gonna secure it with anything. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna add hot glue right here between, between, <laughs> between the clip and um, the feather part, right at the back. And then I'm just going to take the tool and I'm going to glue down. And you can press down. You're not going to hurt it. All right, now your tool is on your feathers. All right. And you can come and tug on your, your loops and you can pull some out and make it even fluffier. But that is it, guys simple and adorable for a Valentine's Day and um, you can also make it for any other day but that is our cute little peacock all right I hope you guys liked the tutorial if you like it share it with a friend um, visit me on Facebook I'll leave the link down below